Hey guys, um, my name is Craig Talley and I uh, do the Hardcore Metal Detecting Radio podcast with Derek Asklar. And uh, I've been metal detecting for uh, 34 years. I started in 1986 and uh, I uh, first metal detector I got was a uh, uh, Royal Sabre from uh, Tesoro. And uh, over the years, uh, I had a lot of Tesoros, but I uh, also had Fisher, uh, Whites, uh, Technetics, Mind Lab. And I got the uh, Nocta Macro um, Amphibio now, XP Deus. Uh, so I've, I've had a lot of machines. I was I've been a dealer for uh, Tesoro, and also sold a lot of used machines. I used to buy and sell and trade machines to see how they worked. <laughs> and I uh, also was a uh, distributor for Canada and the United States for Bliss Tool America. And uh, we sold Bliss Tools for about four years. That was, uh, that was interesting, but it's a tough business. Um, I like it uh, where I can, I don't have to worry about uh, when you when you're on one you know selling one machine or your distributor, you can't really use other machines you know. And I like using all the different machines. And uh, but uh, there's been some sad news you know. Uh, Whites just announced a week or so ago that uh, they're going to go out of business, and uh, it came out in a dealer's letter. So if you go on their website, they're still selling the machines and they're still going to be repairing them. And I hear even after they go out of business, they'll be repairing, you know, there'll still be people that can repair them. Uh, but uh, I uh, saw where, uh, you know, people are very upset about it and, uh, you know, they're saying, you know, they got to, you know, maybe they can sell to another company. There's rumors that Fisher was interested. But uh, anyway, they, you know, I don't see it happening. I, um, this cell phone technology that started a few years ago where basically you have all the internals and, you know, electronics and chips and uh, the battery, uh, oh, well, the screen, uh, the batteries and now in the, uh, basically in the uh, hand grip, you know, where you hold the machine. Uh, you don't have to have batteries that, you know, you got rechargeable batteries now. I, I spent thousands of dollars over the years on double A's and nine volts. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of nice not having to pay for batteries anymore. Uh, and the machines are much lighter. You know, they're even going into carbon fiber uh, with telescoping, you know, uh, shafts. They so can fold the machine up a little bit smaller kind of nice wireless headphones all the machines now are uh, software updated with uh, you know you can uh, improve the machine you know by software update over the internet on your computer I've done several on the uh, Equinox and I did one uh, with the Deus and uh, so you know it's like you're getting almost a new machine you know or, or an update on the machine Instead of having to uh, wait for the next model update, you know, they, they send it to you over the internet. It's kind of neat. But uh, I, uh, you know, it's uh, Tesoro was, was gone. I also used Nautilus, you know, and they, Nautilus was another machine that uh, was a top of the line relic hunting machine. It blew all the regular machines away, but it didn't have a meter. And uh, it was kind of heavy, real heavy. And it had uh, 11 inch coil on it, but that thing would, you know, in relic hunting, it was it was phenomenal. Um, but you couldn't use it in uh, mineralized ground; it just didn't work. But in good ground, it was unbelievable. But uh, you know, this new technology, you know, it's like uh, when you had the regular rotary telephone, and you got flip phones, and then now we got iPhones, you know, and it's iPhones is normal, you know, everybody said, oh, they're not going to buy those, it's too expensive, and now just about everybody has one, so, 
you know, it's with these metal detectors. I like it because, you know, it's, it's improved. The, uh, the Equinox is, uh, the unmasking through the software is uh, phenomenal. It just, uh, I've never seen machines like this. I was able to take it over areas of my yard where I couldn't find it. I couldn't even get a good signal and just, you know, dug 50, 60 really good targets, you know, in a small area. I was amazed in the uh, amphibia with that uh, seven inch uh, concentric coil I got for it. Uh, that thing was unmasking like crazy too. So uh, I like it. Um, you know, these, these new machines are a big improvement over what I used to use, you know, in the old days. All right, guys, uh, if you like the video, uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, comment. Let, let me know what you think. All right, bye.